What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Me Cranium Barbecue Review. Today, I'm going to be doing, well, I had to kind of change plans of what I actually had planned to begin with because we have, uh, right now, it's nice and sunshiny and blue skies, but I don't want to do like an extended cook because we have a so called hurricane. I think it's more like a fart in the wind off the coast of Florida heading this way, so I don't want to waste too much time. Uh, making something that's really complicated. Last week, you see me make some salsa with some corn tortilla chips. I also made some crunchy taco shells. Well, that salsa, we already ate that. In fact, I made a whole nother batch of salsa, but I'm gonna make another dip today for, and I made some more nachos. I made, I made some more nachos this morning. I'll be making a three ingredient cheese dip that's absolutely phenomenal. Has Velveeta cheese in it, but you can replace the Velveeta cheese with some cream cheese. My wife makes this, it is absolutely phenomenal. I love it. So this is gonna be a really quick uh, cheese dip. Hopefully I can miss the, uh, the Hurricane Isaiah coming in. So anyhow, let's get started. All right, so here's everything that you need. You need a can of Rotel. You need a uh, thing of uh, some sausage, or one pound of sausage and one pound of Velveeta cheese. And pretty much people, that's it. If you want to use a spoon with a butterfly on it, uh, go right ahead. Um, hey, I'm secure. Butterfly spoon. And of course, you gotta have a meathead knife, so let's get started. All right, so I have my precision two induction cook top here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to like a medium high, which is like a 375. I'm gonna get this, uh, get this sausage uh, uh, cooked up. Wait for this to heat up, and I'm uh, gonna go ahead and put the sausage in here. Take my uh, butterfly wooden spoon, break this up. All right, and so while waiting for the, uh, the sausage to cook off, gonna go ahead and get the, uh, the Volvita prepped up a little bit. Oh, look at that. That is so good. Mm. Pitmaster privilege. None of that's going away. Stuff that's right there. Oh, that's going in there for sure. Just gonna cut this up in some chunks. All right, this is what the sausage is looking like. Not a whole lot of fat. I thought there'd probably be more fat in there than what there is. All right, I think that's about good. I'm gonna go ahead and drain whatever uh, grease I need to get off there. And how I'm gonna I'm gonna drain the grease off there is I have a metal strainer here over a pot some paper towels paper towels just to try to help dry the uh the sausage now i'm going to transfer it back over to the pot now here goes the magic one can of rotel juice and everything Put that in now time for the velveeta I'm going to come down here and I'm going to uh, uh, turn this down a little bit uh, to about a medium, which is about 275 degrees. Get a cover and cover this up and uh, just let it slowly, uh, slowly simmer. Actually, I'm going to put it down a little bit lower, probably about medium low. There you go. I'm going to put it at 200 degrees. I'm going to go inside, get a cover, and cover this thing up. All right. Get this thing covered up. There we go. Just going to let it sit here. It might take uh, 20 minutes, maybe take a half hour, but. However long it is, just bring it up real slow. All right, so it has officially been 30 minutes. Oh yeah, that's what we got right there. Zoom in on that. That is a beautiful chip dip. I mean, y'all can't tell me that only absolutely scrumptious. Woo. All right, the only thing that's left is to give it a, give it a try. Next is the taste test. All right, so it's a good thing I decided to do this now. In 30 minutes, the clouds already started rolling. It's starting to look kind of crappy right now. Here's one of the uh, chips I made this morning, and there is some of the dip on that chip. That is a winner. Damn, that's good. Anyhow, nice short video today, y'all. Uh, so anyhow, I'll see you next week. Ciao. Oh yeah, like and subscribe. Now it's time to go ciao.